So let's give you a little bit more detail about the ray uh, rayon. <laughs> this is the wide brain B1 UMPC, 60 gig hard drive, 1 gigabyte memory, running Windows XP. 500 grams, very small, not pocketable, way bigger than the Nokia N810, but comparable with something like the Rayon Digital Ever Run. So it's a grabbable UMPC, smaller than the Q1 smaller than um, things like the MTech T770 and T700. So let's um, get in a bit closer and show you a couple of things about the device first. We've got this uh, mouse pad here on the on the right, very big, doesn't look very attractive, but it's really, really usable. It's a proper synaptics mouse pad, which means you can do uh, tap, to, tap to click, and it's got the scroll bars on the, or configurable scroll bars on the right and bottom which is really handy for when you're browsing. Mouse buttons left and right are here. It looks a bit strange that they're inset, but it's actually a lot more comfortable than if they were here. These are the page up and down. So this is really quite a useful combination of um, keys here. And like I said, there's the scroll up and down. And uh, if we were in a browser, I could scroll left and right as well. So let me bring up a browser. Browsing speeds are really good, much, much faster than the Rayon Digital Ever Run. And uh, in fact, comparing it with other UMPCs, it's up there with the best of them, to be honest. Now, my um, Wi Fi connection down here is not that brilliant, so maybe it's not a good idea to demo um, web pages down here. Whoops, that was a typo. Um, let's go to news news.google.com which comes up in five seconds it's just as good as really most desktops and uh, we'll choose a, a new link that we haven't been to before and uh, it seems to be loading now yeah, actually I think my my Wi-Fi is really not so good down here, it's a bad demo. But maybe I'll make another demo showing you the browser browser speeds. Um let's try let's try one more. And then we'll try Engadget. In fact we'll try Engadget now. And then I can show you the scrolling. So that's Engadget loading up. And you can see that I can scroll up and down very quickly, top to bottom, and it's fairly controllable as well, which is really nice. Left and right works as well. Takes some getting used to the areas on the scroll pad, but uh, it's pretty good. If you don't want to do that, you can just swipe with the mouse button pressed. So browsing is really good, and the speed of XP in general is really, really good as well. Um, but let me show you some some videos. Uh, first of all, we'll do two megabit per second DivX, which this has no problems at all with. Um, do this full screen. Working really well, and I can fast forward that. really smooth. Let's close that one. We'll try a Windows Media Video file. Um, yep. Oops, let's try this one. This is an episode of Cranky Geeks at 1 megabit per second Windows Media Video. Now, you'll see on Windows Media Player there's a bug colors not showing properly. Now I'm going to have to find out what that is but under Windows Media Player it doesn't work very well. So what I've been doing is playing it under GOM Player which does work. I can go straight to full screen on that. Let's fast forward that. So one megabit per second Windows Media Video is um, fairly reasonable quality online video. So I th 
I don't think you'll find many other online podcasts and video shows that will be higher than that. I love uh, Cranky Geeks. So well, let's take it up a notch and we'll try a 6 megabit per second Windows Media video file in GOM Player and you'll see that it doesn't work. I mean it's jumpy, it's it's losing about 50% of the frames there and the audio is dropping out as well. But that's 6 megabits a second that's way more than you really need on a on a device this size. Um, have I got anything else that I can show? Maybe a movie file? Um, let's have a look. I've got a couple of trailers on here. I'm not sure if they're going to work. This is QuickTime. Okay, this is at H.264 at I think about 1 megabit per second and that's about the limit for H.264. And in fact, this one's not even working very well. So I think one megabit H.264 is about the limit for this. And any other? What else have I got here? Dignation, that's uh, Win Windows Media. Again, there's that bug. So, not so good. So let's play that with Gone Player. And that's working really smoothly. Okay, so let's quickly go over some other things. Uh, standby. Standby requires about half second press of the key before it registers, and then it goes into um, standby mode or whatever you set in the power settings. Maybe a little bit more than half a second. There you go, that's gone into standby. And then coming out is again half second press or one second press, and that comes out pretty swiftly within about five seconds and then you're straight into XP so that's really nice hibernation is um, typically about 30 seconds which is good um, Skype works, let's give you a quick demo of the um, video camera the video camera doesn't work under Skype I've, tr I've noticed so I don't know why that is but there's the video cam Um, it's not the best in the world, but I've seen worse. But it does work with Ustream, so that's nice. Battery life is two and a half hours to three hours under normal Wi-Fi on use. Can be extended up to nearly four hours at the limits. That's if you're just typing in with, uh, say, a keyboard added or something. Uh, it's got 12 volt DC input, which is really nice for in-car use. DC input is there. The SIM card slot for the versions with HSDPA is under there. And there's only one USB port which is again a little bit disappointing. So there's the stylus. Now if I just lift it up slightly you see what happens it falls out and then it flumped down on its back so that's really not good enough it needs to be improved. Uh, there's a case that goes with it which is isn't bad. It's got a hardened face panel in it so that you don't damage the device. So this front bit here is um, it's got a little bit of card in there. So that gives you a fairly small grabbable package. It's quite nice. So that's it for the Y-Brain B1 overview. I'll probably be having some more videos up on this as I go along. I want to do a decent demo of the browsing speed because it really is quite good. And I'll have uh, some first impressions up on the portal as well. So if you have any questions, please join me on umpcportal.com and I'll try and answer as many questions as possible. So this is Steve C. Payne, Chippy from UMPC Portal. Thanks for watching.